What do you desire? What makes you itch? What sort of a situation would you like? Let's suppose I do this often in vocational guidance of students. They come to me and say, well, uh, we're getting out of college and we have the faintest idea of what we want. I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? What, how would you really enjoy spending your life? Well, it's so amazing. As a result of our kind of educational system, crowds of students say, well, we'd like to be painters. Hello everyone, welcome to a little weekly vlog. So me and Sophie are currently, where are we going? To Nando's. We have been craving Nando's for the longest time and i'm so excited to get that juicy chicken in my mouth currently walking through the hood aka peterborough town center if you know <laughs> you know it does smell fresh. <laughs> it does. literally we just walked down piss alley um so yeah we're heading to we're gonna go bills first yeah we're gonna go get a cheeky cocktail we're gonna go ourselves. get a cheek yeah it's been a long week it's monday <laughs> It's so, a long day today, hasn't it? We deserve a cocktail. We deserve a cocktail. We're, just, we're basically just trying to pretend we're still in Ibiza. <laughs> so we're going to go get a little cocktail, then we're going to go to Nando's. And <sighs> all the chicken. All the chicken, all the halloumi. First stop, Bill's. Hello. Hello. Hello, cheeky. So we've both decided we're going to go for a Pinot because it's our favourite wine. We were looking at the cocktails, but... I don't know. I do. And I'd feel like if I drink a cocktail, it might fill me up and I want room for the chicken. So we're getting two wines. Well, here we are. Wine, wine in hand. <laughs> Why wine not? Why not? Here's to our Nando's. Indeed. Cheers. Ching, ching. Warm up. Warm up to the Nandies. So, what is everyone? I feel like I'm in an interview. You are. It's a serious interview, especially when I've got a camera pointed <laughs> at your face. But you're like, what is going on? Like in bills with wine. Okay, what's everyone's go-to Nando's order? What's yours? You know what mine is? Butterfly chicken, medium, the peri peri chips, and macho peas. And I've also discovered the naughty natta, haven't we? She's been going on about this naughty natta for an absolute eternity. But it sounds good. This feels weird. Is this what it's like to be you when I point the camera in your face all the time? It must be. Like this genuinely feels really odd to have someone else pointing a camera at me. Do you feel on edge? A little bit, I feel a little back. <laughs> oh dear. I quite like being this side, you know. I feel like I could be camera woman of the year. I'm here in her I'm natural in habitat. My, my little friend that I've got. His name is Fred. We have He's taken a home Fred on my chin. the spot. Who has made homage on Gemma's face. Probably got like some hairy face or something, so don't zoom in too close. Um, I may have zoomed in quite far, but you look delightful, and we got to meet Fred. Basically, don't drink wine on a Monday night. I do feel a little bit like I feel way there, baby. I feel way there, baby. baby. Right, next stop, Nando's. Can't wait. I mean, oh God, I feel like I'm gonna eat like an absolute savage because I've had a wine. Like, I feel like I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna order half a chicken. I need to pay with Sophie has wanted these for so long, haven't you? buy them on the internet i don't know maybe ask bills if you can buy them <laughs> you, you contemplating stealing them how much for your five or seven pepper shakes <laughs> every time we come in and she's like Gemma, i want these so much so cute. they are okay can you can you please ask people if they know where um, to buy them from so sophie's just asked me to ask you do you know where to buy these from i just tipped her all over me <laughs> Sophie just asked someone to come and clean her seat because there was a cocktail stick on it and she said, say what you said. I don't think it'd be very comfortable sitting on that cocktail stick. <laughs> it took me like I was crazy. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I love it when you come into Nando's and they're like, have you been here before? And I'm like, uh -huh, hell yeah. So today I'm going for half a chicken because YOLO, you only live once. And then I'm going for this new side, which is the roasted sweet potato and a squash. Then we go down here, grilled halloumi, fancy bit of pineapple, and chili jam. That's me. What about you? I'm gonna have chicken butterfly, macho peas, Ooh. peri peri salted chips. Oh, babby. I don't like to order chips on my own, but I do like to borrow a few of them. So whenever I come to Nando's with someone, I always hope that they, they get peri peri chips because I do like to nick a few of theirs. Do you know what I mean? Does anyone else feel me? Okay, everyone, I've got some very important information for you. Nando's 101, 
hacks, tips coming at you right now. When you order a refillable drink, ask for it in a takeaway cup. Because what you can do is, before you leave, fill your cup up and take it home. Like, I feel like if it's refillable, you should be able yeah. to, like, take full advantage. Yeah, because you see a price you pay, you should be able to keep coming back, like, yeah. any time. Yeah, I think, right. Like, once you buy the refillable, I think, yeah. It's like, forever. I bought a refillable, what are you going about? Imagine, imagine just coming in Nando's with this and just, like, any time of the day and being, like... Show my receipt. Mate, refillable. Refillable. I wonder if they could argue with that. When does it stop doing straws? Since when? How am I going to drink this? Ta-da! Oh my god. Mine looks like the randomest food in the entire world. I haven't ever tried this. I love the grilled pineapple. I don't know why. It just does something to me. Half a chicken. Can't wait to eat that. Halloumi, aka best creation on planet Earth. Um, what the hell's that? There's no sauce up there. No, I can't. We can't be friends anymore. I'm sorry. Sophie, this is something I have a problem. You can't have. You can't have ketchup with a Nando's. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need to go and sit on a different table. Only joking. I love you even if you like ketchup. Someone just shouted at me that I look like Lindsay Lohan. A little bit like confused. <laughs> you look like Queen Latifah. Yeah. Yeah, we just walked some past some utes and got some abuse held at us. This is what happens when you're out in the streets on a Monday night in P-Town. Um, P-E-2, don't mess with me, brother. Basically, it's a scary place to be. We get back in P-E-9, Stamford. On a positive note, that Nando's was absolutely delightful. Sophie's got, Sophie's got a refillable. Top tip one, Nando's. <laughs> Nando's. Nando's. So, we're about to go home and watch the finale of Love Island. The finale. Fina what is it? Is it final? Oh, no. the final. Fin oh, that really scared me. <laughs> Basically, that woman up there, she was just coughing out of her... <laughs> I'm flat being so full like where's that coming from anyway see you at sophie's house for the fin finale so we're back at sophie's and we're about to hit play on the love island final who do you think's gonna win my prediction is for i want to go for ovi in india what well, you think they're gonna win it because ovi is like everyone loves him yeah i do love ovi but i do think molly may and tommy are gonna win not gonna lie hit play Woo! Love Island 2019 is over. I'm literally well shocked. I didn't think Amber and Greg would win it. I'm not gonna lie. I like Amber and Greg, but like I, 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 I literally thought Molly May and Tommy. Like I feel like they made it seem like they were gonna win it. Oh, I'm so tired as well. I feel like with like the last episode, they do long it out a little bit. Like I swear, one of those ad breaks was like 25 minutes long. Like honestly. Anyway, it's like half 10, 20, what time is it? 20 past 10. It's not, it's 25 to 11 now. What? Oh, it's 25 to 11. Your clock's wrong. Yeah, I need to change that. So, I'm going to head home because I'm really, really tired. Um, and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. So, yeah. Bye, Sophie. Bye, bye. bye. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I've literally woken up about five minutes ago, obviously. Got myself a coffee. I've woken up with some more friends on my face today. I've got three little imposters now. God, they're those spots that are so sore. You know, they're like under the skin and you actually feel like a whole new head. A new face is about to be like reborn on your face. That's how I feel right now. Like they're so incredibly sore. So I'm really excited for today because I'm going to visit one of my best friends, Laura, which, oh my God, I feel... I literally feel like I haven't seen her, well actually I haven't seen her in the longest time. I'm just so excited for like a little girly catch up, I feel like we've got so much to talk about. Isn't that the best like catching up with your friend? You feel like a huge weight's been lifted so I'm really excited for that. I'm pretty sure most of you will know Laura but if you don't I will link her YouTube channel in the description box below. Um, we do a lot of like very similar videos so if you enjoy mine you will enjoy hers. I've tried to... I don't know. I feel like when you're self-employed, um, work from home, it's so hard to like stay motivated. I feel like you really, really, really need to be like hard on yourself all the time. And I just think since like, I obviously went to Ibiza, I was back for a few weeks, then I went to Santorini. I feel like since I went to Ibiza, I've just been just a lazy little shit really, to be honest. And I need to get my stuff together. Like I need to get back to being organized. 
I find the best thing that works for me is having like a structure. Obviously I work from home, I'm self-employed, so I need like a structure to my week or I'm left feeling like really, really unsettled, like really uncertain, like it's just, it's, I'm really unproductive. So I've made like a little routine now where I have like five different days basically, a filming day, an editing day, a admin slash planning day, which will be like me planning my content, replying to comments, um, sending emails, like just sorting stuff out. And then I have a day that's called, I've called it my flexi day. So the flexi day will be if I've got any leftover filming to do, any last minute bits to do like that, any last minute editing bits, any amendments to stuff, like that's kind of like my day to like get any unfinished stuff done. And then my last day, which I think is gonna be a Friday, is my day off, but it's not like a day off to go out. It's a day off to do my house cleaning, to do my washing, um, to sort my bills out or anything like that, to maybe go to a shop if I've got something planned for a haul, food shop, so kind of like housey bits. And then I'm actually gonna try and get into a habit of having like one day off, like maybe a Sunday. I really struggle with this. But yeah, that's kind of like my plan at the moment. So I think today is gonna be classed as like my flexi day because obviously I'm going out this afternoon. Yeah, those are my plans for today. I thought I'd just come on and say good morning and obviously have a ramble because it wouldn't be a vlog without Gemma rambling at some point. Um, and kind of just give you like an insight in my life, I guess. I'm nosy and I love to know what other people are up to, so crack the whip on myself um i shall see you when we're leaving to go to laura's oh my god laura i can't wait to see you here we are outside laura's house it's the first time i've ever seen her house and i'm really excited Here we are, behind scenes footage of Laura's house. I literally feel like I'm on like a film set. Do you know what I mean? You know when you see something like on TV? Well, technically do watch you on TV. <laughs> Your biggest fan over here. <laughs> oh my God, like it's so weird when you see someone else's house. I was saying to Laura, like it's so much bigger. Yeah, than... that's what I said about your things. Like when I watch you on YouTube, I always think, Everything looks smaller. Yeah. Like, when I come to yours, I was like, oh my god, it's like big. Like the rooms like look so much smaller. I'm I'm one of these people now though. I've got house envy and I'm looking around and I'm feeling really bad about my own life because I want this house. Your house is lovely. Yeah, but it's just everything. I want to know where everything's from. She even got a freaking Oreo jar. I mean Does Aaron try and eat these? Oh my god, he's the worst. Is he? he do you know what, I think I'm gonna put like bleach or something on them so we can't- <laughs> Imagine, put bleach on your Oreos. So Laura had a garden party at the weekend to celebrate 100K on YouTube. Oh, yeah, that's not as clean. And how does a person have these in their house without demolishing them all? Have you eaten any? No. Oh my God, you are disciplined. Do you wanna see my gin collection? I've got watermelon gin down there. Oh wow. Watermelon gin. Oh my god, there's so much. Look how much wine you've got. Everyone bought me. How bottle. many glasses you've got? Everyone bought me. Bottle. How many people do you have here? Really? Cool. I'm just going to see random fly balls pass and be like, Yeah, when you live in the country, <laughs> oh my god, like when I moved to the countryside, I didn't understand these insects existed. Like the things on the windowsill as well. What are the things on your leg that time? Do you send me a picture? Don't tell everyone about my little oh, conversation. <laughs> Okay, once upon a time, there were, I thought they were bed bugs, but I didn't tell any of you because it was kind of a secret until Laura's just pretty much exposed me. Do you know what I mean? There was these bugs crawling up my legs every time I was near the carpet. Um, and I think they were fruit flies. Oh, were they? Yeah. Because I put a load of stuff down and they went, so. I was actually scared for your life. I thought you had, like, carpet marks. That was something I didn't really want to go into today, but, um... There we go. Gemini smiles exposed. She has bugs in her house. Look at Laura's garden. I want this. I'm. I'm having envy. Look how high the ceilings are. It's not that you can use the garden there, Gemma, though, because we never get. Where's that other plant gone? There's a plant missing. <laughs> the two plants, there's three plant parts normally. Where? On the fence. They're like little hanging plants. <laughs> But one of them is gone. Oh, fuck's sake. Main reason I came here was to see the cats, not gonna lie. No. And they won't come out and see me. 
They oh, hate I'll me. I'll the bed up before you go so you can find one. They're hiding. And Laura's had to rename um, Baby Buddy because she found out he was a boy. <laughs> Killing his masculinity there. I like, still like Baby though. Baby's still a cute name for a yeah, boy. It, yeah, but I don't know. He was being a bit funny when I was calling him Baby. Oh my God. Look at them. Hello. Hello. They're like two tillies. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I love them. One and this one's chubby one. See what I mean? Yeah, he looks How like Tilly. Look? Oh, it's okay. Why is he hiding his face? He's scared. Oh my god. Look, everything's so pretty. <laughs> I'm literally so jealous of everything in your house. It's actually a bit of a sick joke. Really? Look at everything. everything. No, you don't. I do. I've not even brought new things. What? Like... Oh, I love it. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I'm so sorry it's like flicked from Tuesday to Wednesday in a matter of literal seconds i didn't get home last night until about seven i got so lost on the way home from laura's it was a bit of a joke i ended up in timbuktu and i'm actually really out of breath from climbing the stairs what's new <sighs> last night there wasn't really a lot going on in my life so i didn't vlog it but it's now wednesday morning my plan for today is i have been doing a few little admin bits this morning got lots of stuff done feeling productive um i'm now heading out to meet my friend elise for a starbucks and i'm also going to do a little bit of interior shopping like i feel like now it's this sounds really silly because it's <laughs> it's like what day is it it's like the 31st of july like it's not anywhere near like autumn but seeing as it's like rainy and cloudy and it's cold enough to wear like a top like this i'm just feeling autumnal and nothing more that i love in the autumn than like a new interior shop like i love to switch up my home decor like when it gets cozy get loads of new candles get loads of new like lamps and stuff so yeah i'm just feeling like I think with my house, because it's obviously rented, because I've got like another year until I can buy, because um, I'm self-employed, I kind of, with my house, I'm kind of like, oh, I don't want to buy this, and I don't want to do that, because that will be for my forever home, so I'm kind of like, I'm not really like overly happy with the interior of my home, like, I don't like my dining table, I don't like a few things, and then after being in Laura's house yesterday, I have literal house envy so bad like you wouldn't imagine so now i want to just go and get i want to go and get things that just make my house a little bit more cozy like at the end of the day like my house is my sanctuary i spend 99.999 percent of my life in these four walls so i want to make it like as cozy as possible kind of thing so i'm gonna go to the range um get some new bits might even pop into b&m so yeah, that's the plan for today. Thought I'd take you guys with me. God, I thought I had a deodorant mark then. I was like, oh no. Outfit of the day. So I've just got this little plain, high neck, long sleeve, black top on, um, giving me all the autumn feels. And then I've got on some of my favorite ripped mom jeans from Misguided. I'll link these in the description box below because I really struggle to find mom jeans that like fit me really nicely. And I find these are just so nice. They're really high waisted, they're stretchy, and they're not like too flared. I nearly fell over then. <laughs> and then I've got on my little boots from Primark. Tilly's very interested, as you can see. I do feel like I am going on about autumn a little bit, like too much. For people that love summer, you're gonna be like, shut up. But honestly, I can't help it. Like the feeling of just being cozy at home, like Netflix nights, it just does something to my soul. It just makes, it like lifts my mood. It makes me just, so happy but yeah anyway let's go shopping we made it let's see what goodies the range has in store for us today love the mirrors in the range loads of you always ask me where my big silver mirror is from um and it's from here i love the white one as well i really really like this one i feel like this would look really nice on a wall and it's only 40 pounds which is actually insane oh my god a little slice of heaven the range flowers are insane these are so good like they're little um, bouquets that you can buy I've just seen one with where is it it has like peonies and eucalyptus in I think it's this one. Oh my god that looks so nice in a bathroom I love the range for flowers I feel like I'm gonna go absolutely insane at Christmas as well they do a really nice flower range with like all glittery like um, silver ones as well which I can't wait for oh my god look how gorgeous these cushions are oh I love everything I haven't been in here in so long 
purely because I buy way too much stuff when I come in here. Love the lanterns in the range. I love all of this silver stuff. I really want to like switch up my home decor. I want silver. After seeing Laura's home, I need everything silver. Oh my God, look at these. Oh, wow. Oh my actual Lord, look at that kettle. It's bloody pink and sparkly. The microwaves, pink sparkly toasters. Oh my God, they've got silver sparklies too. Wow. Okay, so at the moment, they've also got like a rose gold blush pink aisle, which is amazing. Loads of copper. I've got a thing about gold at the moment, so I think I might get two of these like gold lanterns. How unreal is this furniture? I feel like this is more furniture for like my forever home, but I love that like crystallized base. Like so nice. Good afternoon everyone. So I've just got home. Do you ever have one of those days where you feel like it's just vanished? I feel like this day has gone so, so quickly. So, so, say so again, Gemma. I just thought I popped out, I went to the range, um, and then I went to Tesco's. I spent so long in Tesco's. Like, do you ever go into a supermarket and just spend an unnecessary amount of time in there? Because that's me every time I go into a supermarket. Um, so I picked up some cute bits from the range. I feel like I did a little bit of a panic buy. Oh, I also went to QD actually. And I bought some lanterns, which I think I've changed my mind on. I'm going to show you what I bought in a second. Um, but I think I just bought stuff for the sake of buying it because I couldn't find anything I actually liked. Like, I need to get some, like, substantial stuff first. I need to get, like, a coffee table. I've got some new drawers over here. And I also need some new storage. So that's enough life story about me. Let me show you what I bought from Tesco. For dinner tonight, can't be bothered to cook. I hate cooking just for one person. I've had a really weird, like, appetite recently. Like, I haven't fancied anything. And today is kind of, like, the first day that I actually feel like eating a meal. What's wrong with me recently? Like I just haven't been able to stomach like meals. I've only been able to like pick at like little things like bananas and grapes and stuff. Like I haven't, I haven't been able to eat like a proper full meal without feeling like really, really, really sick. Like when we went to Nando's the other night, like I ate that food and afterwards I just felt like really like dizzy and sick and weird. So yeah, this is the first time after Nando's that I actually really feel like eating a full meal. So. I don't know what's wrong with me, I'm just weird. But I'm gonna have one of these chicken breasts which look really, really nice. Um, and then I'm just gonna whack all of this in probably and just pick at it. But I haven't got a microwave so I'll do that in the oven. And then for snacks, this is my new favorite snack combo. Well, the popcorn, if you've been watching me for a while, you will know this is like my ride or die popcorn, my absolute fave. Um, these are my new favorite yogurts. I think I might have spoken about these before but they are so, so nice. And they're dairy free. And then I discovered today, I love like tinned pineapple. I don't know what it is. I've got a bit of an obsession with it at the moment. Like I had that tinned pineapple ring, <laughs> sounds weird, in Nando's the other day. But because this was in coconut water, I was attracted to it because I love me a bit of coconut. So I got those for like snacks later because I'm going to have like a little film night. Little night to myself, little film night tonight. Um, and then I got some new cleaning bits. Basically I went to Sophie's and realised she had one of these in her toilet and I got jealous of her having like a blue toilet. So Sophie, darling, you are my inspiration. And then I'm kind of back on my collecting Zoflora hype. Um, I haven't been able to find any good scents for a really long time. So I found all of these in Tesco's and then I got some of this for the worktops because they're wooden. I don't know if I'm meant to like treat them. Like does anyone know? Because they don't have like a film over them. So I don't know if I'm meant to be using something different on here. So if you are aware, could you let me know? Um, but yeah, that's my little Tesco haul. So this is what I bought from the range. So I bought these lanterns because I thought like the almost like bronzy gold like really went in here with the fireplace and kind of like everything in this room because I've got some like golden stuff up there. But now I've bought them home and um, that one's just still got the tissue over. I just need to put the candle in. I'm unsure where I'm going to put them. So my initial plan was I was going to put them. Oh God. Oh dear. I was going to put them like either side of the TV unit. Um, but I now think they look a bit stupid. Ugh, I always do this. I literally always do this. So now I don't know where to put them. Um, I'll worry about that in a moment. But I think for this room, like, this is my least favourite room. And it's because, like, I never planned for the sofa to go there. Like, I planned for the sofa to go here. But this part here is too long. And it overlaps and comes out to like here. So it can't go anywhere else. Like the only thing I could do is get a new sofa, which isn't really something I want to do. So this room just bothers me. Like I hate that cat scratcher. I feel like this really ruins this. I don't know. I just, 
this room bothers me so I think that's gonna go I'm gonna put like a nice coffee table here what kind of coffee table do you think would go in here you guys are literally like my gurus <laughs> I'm always asking you what I should do with stuff I'm thinking maybe like a, like a mirrored one with gold legs because I feel like it would go I'm not entirely sure I'm just really not very happy with this room I don't know why anyway so what else I bought was I picked up Basically, I want to make my bedroom really, really cosy. Because sometimes when I'm in there, I don't feel very cosy. So I got this vase to go on the floor near the big mirror. And then I got two boxes of these rose twig lights. Um, because I thought those in there would look really cute just at like the end of my bed. I'll show you in a moment when I've like put them on. Okay, are you ready for the verdict? Ignore my non-made bed. Like, ignore that. I actually think they're cute. I honestly think it's a mood, like, it's kind of changed the mood of my room, especially when I'm, like, laid in bed over here, like, watching TV. I just think, I don't know, I think, it, I think, they're, I think they're nice. I feel like I'm trying to convince myself. What does everyone think? Especially in the winter. Right, what do we all think? Please give me your honest opinions, yes or no. So, I hear you ask, Gemma, what do you do on a Wednesday night? Well, babe, the answer is I am heading to bed at 7.30 with my popcorn and yoghurt and bottle of water. I'm actually only walked into the pool then. Wow. I'm coming to bed to admire my new lights. So my plan for this evening is exactly this. I am going to put a film on on Netflix. I've got some like saved in my list that... I really want to watch that I haven't like had a chance to watch feeling a little bit lost about Love Island even though I didn't like really keep up with it this year I always had something to like catch up on like every time I used to put the TV on I'd be like oh I know exactly what to watch because I've got to catch up on Love Island and now I just feel very lost I'm not gonna lie so I'm gonna find a film to put on and I want to kind of be asleep by like nine wow I'm living the dream so I shall see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday. Why are you looking at me so straight? I don't know. I, was like, I feel like I was in a dream. I was like, Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. I've just picked Sophie up from the train station. She's had a extravagant day in York. Working. 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 Um, and we've just come to Primark because we're filming a Primark video tomorrow, aren't we? We are indeed. Which you guys, we've never filmed a Primark video together. That's crazy. Shit! Shit, son! Um, so yeah, we're gonna film that in the morning and that's gonna be live on Wednesday, so that's exciting. Hopefully they've got some good stuff in store for us today. Oh, they will. And if they don't... I feel it. Feel it in my bones. You know. You know what? We're filming a Primark video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we won't be doing it. We'll cut this bit out. <laughs> How nice is the weather today? Oh, it's good. How autumnal does mild. it feel? Lovely and mild. A few showers. A few showers here and there. Wearing a... This is like a... a this is like a sweater slash top. Like I'm getting there. I'm building my way is up to thick? my jumpers. It's like no, it's like a, almost like a t-shirt, but looks like it looks like a jumper. That's magical. That I know. Interesting, right? Anyway, let go. <laughs> right, warning everybody. Primark have jumpers, coats, and cardigans. Do you know what that means? What? Autumn's here. First of August, but autumn. It's on its way. Oh my god, I'm craving wearing a cardigan so much. Lion King match! Yes! <laughs> Who remembers these from last year? It's actually a bit cozy. <laughs> if you don't know what the clicking is, by the way, <laughs> the clicking was the Snoop Dogg song. Basically, we replaced Snoop with Snood. Yeah, 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 that's sick, that's sick. Oh my god, look at the cute Lion King stuff. I think I'm gonna have to get this. I'm... Oh my god, we need to get matching. That is so Shall cute. Shall we get matching? Should we wear it on Sunday? Oh my god, to the Lion King. Should we buy me mum one? Oh my god, yeah, let's get your mum one. Oh, hello, so cute. Oh my god, so Primark, I've got these big fleeces with the really big zips. These are really nice for the gym. Yeah, they've got a grey one, a rust colour. I think they're actually really nice. They feel really comfy as well. They've even got a camouflage version. The teddy bear coats are back. Oh, how I've missed you. I've missed living in you every every moment of my entire life. <laughs> oh my God, this is why I came to Primark. 
Oh. Remember who you are. <gasps> Look at the bottoms. Look at these. Oh, so should we get matching jammies? Me and Sophie are filming a girls night in video soon because we haven't done one of those in absolutely ages So we're gonna have like full-on pamper night all the trimmings and I feel like we should get Some matching. Wait, is that a Lion Whoa. King Whoa. dressing gown? Let's get around Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god <gasps> Oh my god We have to get these. Oh my god. Look they've got <gasps> I think I like these more than the I think I like this top. Oh no, this top with the bottoms. Ooh, that'd, be that'd be cute, wouldn't it? To go on a bit of a diet. Don't be stupid. I feel like we've shown you all the best bits in Primark. We are going to be filming a come to Primark with us real soon because I'm going to be doing those monthly again and we've seen loads that we're going to buy as well. So I can confirm we're going to be doing a Primark haul and that'll be live on Wednesday. I concur. So we've just got takeaway from our favourite place in the whole world, Sada. Who she is? <laughs> What Ignore happened. the ugly lantern. I told everyone about the no, ugly please, lantern yesterday. Please. What? What happened? Right, I went in there and the man goes, you're driving, your friend is such a sick driver, she should be all what? fast and furious. Why? What did I do? I think it's the way you like, skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
<laughs> no, well, I like turned into pillow talk rather quickly, didn't it? <laughs> I liked it. I'll show you. So, oh God, please don't. Let me show you how I like to do it. <laughs> okay, so I like to have my head on this side and then my leg on this side. So I'm basically like spooning it. It's so comfy. Yeah, but I don't need Try it. Try it and you tell me that is not the comfiest thing on planet Earth. Oh, okay, that's good. Let go. Hi. Let go. Hi. This is actually like ultimate. I know, it's life, ultimate so. comfort. 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 <laughs> To be fair, it is 11, it's well past our bedtime. I know, right? Bye! 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 <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Gemma, did that chicken give you food poisoning last night? Why are you wearing bright yellow? Well, this isn't just any bright yellow t-shirt. Today is a good day because I'm going to see The Lion King. I'm so excited, like, just the thought of it is putting me in such, like, a happy good mood so it is now midday so i don't really know why i said good morning i think it's because it's the first time we've spoken today do you know what i mean so me and sophie have been filming our primark call today the aftermath of filming a primark call um and these pajamas as you would have seen yesterday were obviously part of it let me show you them in all of their glory how insanely cute are these i'm not gonna lie i really want to bowl up to the showcase cinema in these but kind of scared of the looks i'll get kind of don't really care because I love the Lion King. I think I genuinely might wear the top. I mean, the trousers I feel like might be a little bit too much, but the top I feel like I could definitely get away with. Plans for the day are minimal. I feel like I'm going to have like a little mini speed tidy. I hate mess so much. Like it makes me feel so uneasy. So I'm going to have like a little speed tidy, put everything away, make everything seem clear and nice. So I feel like I can think straight. Um, and then me and Sophie are popping over to a little Starbucks near us to get some lunch. Um, ignore all of this on the side. Again, mess. Um, we're gonna get some lunch and a coffee because we haven't actually eaten yet and we're like lagging at this point. So I'm hoping Starbucks have got that. They do this like scrambled eggs with spinach. I really want that. So I'm hoping they have that. Um, I feel like I haven't really done like a proper food shop since I've got back from holiday. I've literally just been like living off rations. I haven't had any bread, any eggs. Sophie's probably hating on me right now. <clears throat> Sophie, have you noticed I've had no food for the past few weeks? So we made it to Starbucks. You'll all be sad to know that I'm not in the Lion King top. Here she is. So, we got the scrambled egg that I was talking about. I've never actually tried this, but it looks good, right? And I also got one of these, which is one of my new faves. It's a cold foam cappuccino really really nice but make sure you mix it because if you drink that on its own it's kind of tastes like death not gonna lie Sophie's got a black americano very us that is very Gemma and Sophie drink and what did you get over there hun a ham and cheese toasty toasty a panini yeah, yeah basically panini you know <laughs> let me balance you on here I feel like we do a lot of talking when we're sat here I feel like this is almost like my my thinking spot but Sophie's just gone home she is in Norfolk visiting her friend for the weekend so yeah, she's going to be driving there tonight. Um, it always feels super weird when I've been with someone for like a few days and then I'm on my own. Like, I'm very independent. I enjoy my own company. I enjoy doing my own thing. But sometimes I guess it just feels a little bit empty. I don't know. I think sometimes I feel a little bit like empty and a bit... I don't know. It's strange. But it is now four o'clock. I am seeing The Lion King at six. So I think I'm just going to start editing this vlog. Um, I really want to start watching the new series on channel 4 called I Am. I've heard some really good things about it. So, yeah, I'm probably, I might start watching that when I get home tonight, actually. But yeah, I just came on to kind of end the vlog and everything. I really hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog. I have enjoyed it so much. I said on my Instagram story the other day that I want to try and do this every week. Now, there are going to be some weeks that... I feel like when I have a really, really busy schedule, there are going to be some weeks where a weekly vlog is just not going to be doable. I try and upload at least one vlog a week. So even if it's not a full week, even if it's just a few days or something like that, that's really something I want to do. Um, I've said a few times, like, I feel like I can really connect with you guys in vlogs. So you might have noticed at the beginning of this vlog and in the title, I'm going to kind of rename my vlogs and they're going to be called um, The Gemma Diaries behind closed doors. I feel like YouTube can be very, very false sometimes. I think I think in a lot of cases, 
anything social media can be quite false and I think it can kind of give an impression that you live this perfect life but behind the camera and after editing and all of this that sometimes it's not perfect and that's why I want to create these vlogs as often as I can so I can kind of like not feel guilty for sitting and talking about feelings and like talking to you about how I'm feeling and stuff like that because every time I open up to you a little bit I feel like number one so many people can relate and that means the world to me because if one person can relate to what I'm saying and feel a little bit like comforted by that and feel a little bit better that they know someone else is kind of feeling the same then that's like that means everything to me and I think I sometimes like feel guilty about like burdening other people with my problems I kind of just like to take on everyone else's problems and then not really deal with my own <laughs> which is really really silly but yeah I thought this could be like not a series because I don't I didn't want to call it a series because I don't want it to ever end I want it to be like a really really big part of my channel now so yeah lots more vlogs going forward gonna try doing weekly vlogs from now if it's not weekly then they'll it'll just be like spend a few days with me or something but yeah I just thought it'd be nice for us to all come together sit down have a chat be really chill and yeah so here's to the Gemma Diaries I'm really 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 excited about it and I feel just really positive and I feel like I've got that like this is really strange but whenever I have an idea I almost get this like like burning this like burning I don't know like buzzing sensation like in my body that it's a good thing I think my gut feeling is always spot on like I've got one of these gut feelings that's genuinely like a sixth sense like, so I'm gonna pick the camera up on Monday and start all over again but yeah I have another video on Wednesday which is mine and Sophie's Primark haul and then the following Sunday will be another vlog I think I'm gonna switch it back up to three days a week uploading but I'm not sure which day the other video is going to be. It might just be like a sit down -y video or a challenge or something, like as and when. So make sure you hit the notification bell, just because I'm not entirely sure what day that's going to be, and I don't want you to miss anything. But yeah, I'm out of breath now after speaking so much. Too much coffee today, too much coffee. I love you all so much. I'm sending so much love and happiness and positive vibes, and yeah, I'm looking forward to talking about feelings weekly because apparently that's something I love to do. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.